Hello, this week's Mayor's Message from the Waratah Wynyard Council. I'm Robbie Walsh, thanks for tuning in. Um, the main subjects this week are um, our parks and reserves in the Waratah Wynyard uh, Municipal Area. We've got an excellent parks and reserve crew, they do a wonderful job. You will have seen the big improvement taking place over the last 12 months uh, and our Tulip Festival and things like that. But what disturbs us is we make these plantings around the community in various towns, Somerset, Wynyard, Waratah, and uh, then we have vandalism. And uh, as I stand here on the banks of the beautiful Camp Creek and the old hospital grounds, here's a beautiful big eucalyptus uh, delicatensius. He's been poisoned. And look, it's going to cost us thousands to remove this tree. This tree will become dangerous as time goes by. And uh, it won't be safe for the walkways and uh, where the people are walking on for them to be travelling under them. Uh, under a canopy of this nature that may drop its limbs so I would estimate this tree to be uh, fallen and chipped and crunched up to be about twelve thousand dollars worth um, and that would be uh, that's a that's a light estimate uh, but look people if you have a tree that's a problem we can doctor it and we've got tree doctors we can look after uh, and retain a beautiful old tree without demolishing it so uh, there's plenty of time to adjust if you've got a tree that you think is delicate uh, derelict, don't destroy it. Also look up near the cemetery in Wynyard, beautiful roundabout there, weeping cherries planted in there just recently, lilacs and uh, rhododendrons and camellias, that's at the cemetery in Wynyard, beautiful, uh, you know, beautiful display there of gardening and uh, those things were stolen from that roundabout, very disturbing and I know we're not the only municipality that are having problems of this nature, circle ahead of having the same problem, talking with Mayor Quillam the other day and uh, they've had trees down there purposely poisoned, so please, the effort that we're putting in to beautify our, our uh, flora in the area It'll only enhance the fauna that inhabits these trees and things like that and uh, the wildlife that are about, it encourages them to be about and to have nature on our doorstep is uh, not a greater privilege. Um, so uh, I just uh, remind people and uh, also lawn clippings. If you're living opposite a reserve and you've got your lawn clippings, please don't walk across the road and dump them just to get rid of them. They're compost. Uh, environmentally, you can put those through the compost and the worm and the worm farm and all those sort of things and reuse them in your garden. So look, just don't walk across and dump them in, uh, in a council reserve just to, for the sake of getting rid of them. Um, I think I've said enough about that. I get very upset when I see the environment getting disturbed uh, unnecessary. But I'd like to comment on uh, uh, and congratulate the uh, Yola District High School. They recently won a, uh, a Sustainable Schools Award at the Keep Australia Beautiful uh, 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 function at uh, La Trobe last uh, Friday. I congratulate the school on their enthusiasm and, uh, and the, uh, on the way they presented themselves to win this award. Congratulations to the Yola District High School. Um, one thing coming up, Christmas, we mustn't forget Santa Claus is not far away, the Somerset Christmas Parade on the 6th of December and then we have the big Wynyard Christmas Parade on Christmas Eve. So uh, touching on those couple of things I will be in the next couple of weeks so that we don't miss this opportunity to celebrate Christmas with our family and friends. I think that's about all I've got for this week folks, uh, thank you for tuning in and bye for now.